We. Oh shit. That's going in the fucking intro. How's it going, guys? It's me, Dumbo, the Double Taku MHL, here today with Alcana Episode 5 Reaction Review. Now, this series I, will, I have been really lazy on, and if you guys watched the last episode I did, then you'll know why I really kind of been really lazy with this. Well, the lazy part and the sort of boring part. But it's really interesting to me because a lot of people were commenting on my other video saying sort of similar things about this series in general that they sort of felt bored with it or like they dropped it or you know they wanted to see this stuff but then it's just like uh and whatnot and i mean i'm glad to see it's not just me so like whew, there you go but i mean still i am continuing to watch the series because i really enjoy it and for one like um i think i sort of overreacted to it too much because of it's like visual novel-esque um, background and stuff like that. If you guys could watch like a more in-depth thing of me talking about that last episode. But yeah, I mean if you guys weren't talking, if you didn't see that video, then basically what I said was that I sort of saw this anime too much as like a visual novel-esque like experience-esque kind of thing where I was expecting a lot of like all the stuff from like visual novels that like you see in visual novels like all the romance, school time in-depth nonsense and good stuff and I'm sorry I had to know that. Anyways, so yeah, like I expected a lot from the anime, but I mean I was like sort of like not seeing the anime for what it is and essentially like from watching the first four episodes like the anime started to for me look like a sports anime and yes it technically sort of is a sports anime like the way it's going right now because episode 5 just they're at the part of the cliche uh, sports animes where they're at the tournaments and they're fighting against other schools in their sport and yeah I mean like that's basically where it is like episode 1 through 4 has basically been training our new uh, character our new uh, main characters into you know their sport and FC flying circus and now here we are at the high school not like a major tournament but just a tournament to like you know put the skills to the test and you know participate because their school hasn't been going or participating in a while right so we see the fruits of their training and it's not the greatest I mean the best they did in four episodes not even four episodes the first one was a total beginner thing so three episodes the best they can do in three episodes that was what we saw sort of in this episode and we see that um out of our three girls who make it are in the team, uh, and the one dude who surprisingly is actually pretty fast in the game, we actually get to see the dude play, which is pretty awesome. I forgot his name because I had to memorize the girls' names. So we have um, Mashiro, Mashiro first, who the speeder type, who like just like she tries her best, but she's probably a professional who knows how to fight speeders. So like she she got eliminated in the first match. So that was kind of disappointing, but I mean, she tried her best. That's how sports goes, guys. Second, we have Asuka, who is actually really, really good at this sport now because of her super, like, gymnastic flips and whatnot. In like, without her shoes and in her shoes, she could, like, she's really good fighting. And, like, that's basically, I mean, she is sort of the main character, main heroine, main lead girl in this series. That's what I think, first of all, so... I mean, they're in, she's in the ending too, so yeah, that's just me. And then we also have um, Misaki, who actually fights um, Reika, I think that's her name, Reika. I'm, I'm, excuse me if I'm butchering the names because it's been so long, but um, the other girl from last episode who was really good friends with Mashiro, she fights her and she just destroys her. Like, that's just like, that's not even fair because like she just saw out the game for time and yeah so yeah so we see our, our characters are really good you know they were the same from episode 2 or whatever they've improved they found their play style and stuff and they're on they're making their way to the tournament just trying to be the very best they can be 
and um, have fun at the same time. And that's basically it. I mean, like, as much as I sort of, I mean, I'm not hating it at all, but like, I don't know. Like, it's just so weird to see it as a sports anime. And I mean, the sports stuff is like all the side, right? Because this anime hints to you at all of its slice of life elements from the first episode where we see Asuka on her ship doing whatever she was doing, how our main character has this sort of backstory to why he quit being like the coach for Flying Circus Club, and maybe Misaki is like a love interest too because these two are the only ones in the ending and not anyone else. I mean, yeah, it's like weird because coming from the visual novel, like, okay, here I am talking about the visual novel again, but this is a visual novel adaptation. and. In the visual novel, most likely the main character is the dude, and we always see everything from the perspective of the dude. And in this show, it's like the whole, the it seems like the like not have words. To me, like the main characters of the show in the anime are the girls instead because it's like a sports thing, and like these three girls like join the club, they want to get better. So then this uh, sub character coach guy just comes up and he's like, okay, I'm going to go help you guys. He's supposed to be the main character, but I don't like really see much from him in this show. I guess that's why I'm looking at it. I don't know. But I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I would I have to watch the whole thing first. I mean, I am still watching the show, so that's probably like Yeah, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. But then I just sort of feel like it's lacking something. And lots of people have been telling me like they've been bored of this anime or they want really don't want to know all the other stuff and whatnot or Things like that, so it's good to see that I'm not the only one who thought that, or like you know, there are other people out there who are sort of like questioning about this anime. Is like, well, what about this and all this stuff? And you know, yes. So my hypothesis slash theory is that after all of the sports stuff is over, most likely the sports arc where we learn they're flying circus tournaments. Someone goes to the final. They lose in the final. I'm pretty sure they won't win because of just how inexperienced all their players are and how they just rush to be to train to this moment. I don't think anyone's gonna win a tournament. After all this tournament sports stuff, then there will be some sort of slice of life romance because that's how visual novels work. And the ending to the anime, I really like the ending to the anime. It has, it's very, I like listening to it, but also it pertains to these two characters here. Only these two characters here, even though in the visual novel you get like four girls, like it's these two, Mashiro and Reika, except in the ending of the anime we see Misaki and Asuka, who are probably going to be like the main love interests for our main character after all the sports stuff is over. And I've heard that this series is going for only 12 episodes, so unless they somehow like do like complete this tournament thing going on right now soon. And then afterwards, we get to some slice of life stuff. We gotta learn about our main character's backstory, Asuka's backstory, and then we can see how this anime goes. Basically, that's how I'm seeing it right now. So, anyways, that's about it for this video, guys. I mean, for one, I really, really like the show still. I'm enjoying it. I'm completely enjoying it. As much as like I'm saying all these things, overall, in my heart, I'm still enjoying this anime. So I'm going to continue watching it because. To be honest, I really want to play the visual novel so much because playing a visual novel and watching an anime is totally different. Because imagine if I had a if, or if there was an if my heart had wings visual novel. They can't incorporate every single thing from the visual novel because that thing is like 10 to 20 hours plus long. I don't know. It's it's just super long and you can't incorporate everything. So I understand that everything from this anime cannot incorporate everything from the visual novel and all that stuff. So I mean. I'm still enjoying it overall, guys. I keep think I keep talking about the anime, so I mean I don't know what to say about that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did, because overall I still like Alcana and Alcana it's okay. You mean you give it a shot and whatnot. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of, it's fun to enjoy and watch. And that's about it. So follow me on Twitter guy because I love using Twitter now. You can follow me at the Domotaku. I'll leave a link somewhere here. And yeah, I love using Twitter now. I like to talk about all the anime stuff I do and just stuff in general, I guess. And also subscribe because next week I will be doing maybe I I make promises, but let's see if I keep them future me. But I will come back to do episode six 
of uh, this episode, of this series, and I'll react and review it. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, I'm not gonna slack off like last time. I'm not gonna do, miss out on three episodes and then put them all in one video. I'm going to go episode by episode because I'm done being lazy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video on the Domotaku Anime Channel. So take care, guys, and matane.